Wait, little kitty. Don't forget to wear an oxygen mask. Because we are not fish capable of breathing underwater. Kitty wishes to be fish. <laughs> In that case, let's explore the technical possibility behind it by answering the question. What if we could breathe underwater? Zoom in! First things first, why can't we already breathe underwater like fish? Well, that's because our lungs have evolved to extract oxygen only from the air. Fish on the other hand have gills consisting of thin filaments with a large surface area. When water passes over these gills, oxygen dissolved in the water is absorbed into the fish's bloodstream through the gill membranes, while carbon dioxide is expelled into the water. So, it means that to be able to breathe underwater, humans would need an evolutionary upgrade in the form of gills. But even after that, it's not going to be smooth sailing as our arms and legs aren't the best for swimming efficiently and without enough body hair and fat, we'd quickly succumb to hypothermia and dehydration. Plus, seeing underwater can be tough, especially in murky lakes or rivers, and keeping our eyes open in the salty water of the ocean can be a daunting task. But hey, for the sake of this video, Let's devise special swimsuits to mitigate most of these issues and delve into the possibilities of an aquatic life. Firstly, breathing underwater would eliminate the fear and risk of drowning, letting curious minds explore the ocean more deeply. Yes, now you can swim effortlessly among colorful coral reefs, explore mysterious shipwrecks, and encounter exotic marine life up close and personal. On top of that, it would make activities like mining and construction safer and more accessible. This would also open up new opportunities to create an underwater transport system using water tubes, which would be like riding a roller coaster every time we need to go somewhere. At the same time, it could enhance emergency response capabilities for situations like maritime disasters or underwater rescues. Rescuers could operate more efficiently and for longer durations in submerged environments. We might even start to cultivate land underwater to grow salt-tolerant crops and raise aquatic animals. This would reduce the need for freshwater irrigation and provide a more sustainable food source for communities. All these factors would eventually lead humans to establish permanent underwater habitats for research, living and even tourism. Scientists could conduct in-depth studies of marine life without the constraints of bulky diving equipment or the need for submersibles. This would advance our understanding of ocean ecosystems, biodiversity and the impacts of climate change. Eventually, all these factors would make us more attuned to water management and conservation we'd become more aware of the importance of keeping our waterways clean and healthy, leading to reduced pollution and better environmental practices overall. But remember, my friends, while breathing underwater sounds thrilling, our bodies aren't built for it. Venturing into the water without proper gear and training is risky and could be life-threatening. So, Always prioritize safety and follow guidelines set by experts when it comes to underwater activities. Trivia time! Did you know that a group of people called the Bajau can stay underwater for as long as 13 minutes at depths of around 200 feet? On the other hand, the average human can hold their breath for between 30 to 90 seconds. To learn more, 
please check out our video what if you hold your breath for too long sketching time today's sketch of the day goes to arya yadav hope you had fun today until next time it's me dr binox zooming out so kitty did you bring the oxygen mask yes never mind